standardized way in, in printing cartilage is uh, people uh, use hydrogels where cells are encapsulated in hydrogels and then uh, uh, hydrogels are printed layer by layer uh, and then a plaque uh, shape can be obtained that can be implanted in, in, in cartilage. One of the problem with the hydrogels is cells uh, encapsulated in hydrogels, they can't really uh, communicate with each other as hydrogels confine the, uh, the cells. So the cell-to-cell -cell communication is very limited when cells are encapsulated in hydrogels. In our process, we don't really use any hydrogels. It's completely hydrogel free. It's completely scaffold free. So we confine the cells uh, in a very small area uh, that the cells uh, uh, bind together and then they uh, aggregate into uh, mini tissues. And then we print these mini tissues. Uh, and then mini tissues uh, can easily self-assemble into each other. Uh, and then make a scale-up uh, version of, of cartilage tissue. The bio-ink is extruded in the tissue form, and then we can make that bio-ink in any length that we want. And then this gives uh, us a really long uh, bio-ink uh, that we can stack those bio-ink uh, uh, rasters layer by layer, and then uh, after fusion, we can easily get a larger scale tissue.